now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, at least most of you have seen a little bit of rain across the area thus far this afternoon. However, you can clearly see here on radar that the bulk of the rain has already passed through the area now. You see the reds, the yellows, some of the oranges, those brighter colors. Those tend to correspond with thunderstorms and heavier rain. And you can see that's already now kind of shifted its way back through south central Kentucky, back down through parts of Tennessee. That being said, I certainly do think there will still be a few spotty showers across the area as we go through the evening hours. There's not much on radar right now. However, I can't rule out a downpour developing at any time as we go through the next couple of hours. So if you have plans on going out, don't expect a lot of rain. However, still bring an umbrella. It's going to stay looking gloomy out with off again, on again showers kind of popping up randomly across the area. So again, don't be surprised if you end up having to use those windshield wipers heading out this evening. All right, cold front sneaking its way through the Ohio Valley. It's the first in what's going to be a series of cool fronts that eventually is going to help knock back our temperatures. It did today, thanks to clouds and showers, the real heat along the East Coast. However, I'm showing you these temperatures up across the upper Midwest where you see 60s tonight in Minneapolis over towards Minot because this is where our air will be coming from over the next couple of days. We've got a significant weather pattern change taking place heading into the weekend here as a big dip begins to develop in the jet stream. A pocket of very cool air for this time of the year is going to slide across the Ohio Valley and that is going to spell highs in the 60s this weekend with the possibility of seeing some overnight lows down into the 40s. And that cool weather will start next week before we see temperatures rebound by the middle and end of next week. So here in the meanwhile, a little bit of sky out there. You can see a little bit of the sun through some of the overcast. Right now, 76 at the airport. We've got ourselves a northwesterly breeze at 8. Most areas are in the rain-cooled, kind of damp and muggy 70s out there. Hamilton 76, Florence 75, 77, Batavia. Overnight tonight, temperatures will fall back into the mid-60s. It's still going to be muggy. That cooler air is lingering behind. So even tomorrow, highs are still going to be warm for this time of the year. It looks like we'll sneak our way into the low 80s. Start off gloomy and expect improvements for your Thursday. So here's future cast. There's the spotty shower activity through midnight. Again, I can't rule out some showers or even a brief downpour anywhere at any time. Tomorrow morning, looks like we'll start out with cloudy skies. Expect gradual improvements as we get into some sunshine during the afternoon. Thursday night looks very quiet. We're off to a quiet and dry start on Friday morning, but then that secondary cool front will arrive Friday evening with showers and a few thunderstorms. I don't think it's going to be like last Friday where we had all that severe weather and some lightning interrupting those high school football games, but do plan on a period of wet weather Friday evening for high school football. 65 for a low tonight with early showers and then still muggy overnight because the cool air is not getting in here. 81 for a high tomorrow after a gloomy start. Should turn out to be a fairly nice day. Here's a look at the day planner. 67 at 8 a.m. Lunchtime up to 75 with the sun beginning to peak out and we'll sneak our way into the low 80s by afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. There you go. 75 on Friday, but look at that only 60 Saturday and Sunday. Overnight lows will be between 45 and 50, but notice it's that time of the year, Mike. And Cherie, where we get these ups and downs in temperatures down over the weekend, but back up close to 80 by the middle of next week. George has got the blitz five.